Cadillac Escalade 2007-2014 demo presented on GMC Acadia 2013-2017. These cars share identical screens. In this video, wireless Apple CarPlay. Once your iPhone is connected, you can navigate using the knob. You can rotate it left or right. The square on the bottom left is the main menu on your phone where your apps are. Click Enter to go to any of your apps. In this video, Wireless Android Auto, you can navigate using the knob. You can rotate it left or right. If you pull the joystick down, you will automatically be on the bottom bar. Clicking Enter on the circle in the bottom left will bring you to your apps. Click Enter to go to any of your apps. In this video, HDMI mirroring. Next is HDMI. Your device's HDMI screen will show if you connected it to the interface. These are some examples of video sources that you can connect to the HDMI mirroring input of the interface. Continue watching the video for a detailed explanation. In this video, Camera Inputs. Front Camera. Click Enter. You'll be on your front camera. Click Menu to go back. Left Camera. Click Enter. You'll be on your left camera. Click Back. And Right Camera. Click Enter. You'll be on your right camera. NavTool. Established 2002. NavTool products are 100% automotive grade products. NavTool products are 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This is a two part video. Part 1 Operation of the Interface and Part 2 Installation of the Interface. Vehicle specific disassembly instructions are found in the second part of the video, where we also show installation of the interface. This interface doesn't replace factory radio or factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring, and extra cameras. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is updated only inside your phone. You never have to update nav tool interface. 100% of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ecosystem are only inside your iPhone and Android devices. All the vehicle's factory equipment and features including radios, screens, steering wheel controls, and other features will continue to work as before. The nav tool interface connects to the vehicle screen and never disables any of the factory features. This interface is a see-through interface, meaning the vehicle does not know it's installed in the car. This interface is controlled via NavTool supplied joystick. Wireless Apple CarPlay Feature Demonstration Make sure your radio sound is set to aux. Then you can press and hold the back button to enter NavTool interface. You will be on the interface. Click the interface settings. Click Wireless CarPlay settings. Click on Discover and Connect Devices. You'll see this name pop up that you can find and connect to on your phone. Connect to it on your phone. And after a few seconds, the interface will automatically go to Maps. Once your iPhone is connected, you can navigate using the knob. You can rotate it left or right. The square on the bottom left is the main menu on your phone where your apps are. Click Enter to go to any of your apps. Please note, because your vehicle screen is all in one, the touchscreen controls never leaves inside of the radio. It is impossible to have touchscreen controls without taking apart the entire screen assembly and soldering inside of the screen. Selection controls such as rotary knobs are native controls for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Rotary knob controls are native for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, such as found in many European non-touchscreen vehicles that come equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You may have seen other products for this vehicle that allow touchscreen controls. Keep in mind all these products require extensive disassembly of the factory screen and soldering inside of the screen. These products that you may come across are not plug and play and are very dangerous because they require you to take apart the screen assembly and you can easily damage an expensive screen. NavTool has created an ultimate 100% plug and play solution for this vehicle that does not require any disassembly of the factory screen. This is a safe installation that will not damage your screen as you are not taking apart your vehicle's screen and not adding parts inside of your screen that were never supposed to be there. 
How to Rearrange Your Apple CarPlay Apps To rearrange your apps on Apple CarPlay, go to Settings and click General. Click CarPlay, click your car, and click Customize. Hold the three lines on the right of the app you want to move and drag it to the position you want the app to be in. You can click the red minus to remove apps. If you want more apps added, scroll to the bottom on your phone and click the green plus. Wireless Android Auto Feature Demonstration Make sure your radio sound is set to aux. Then you can press and hold the back button to enter nav tool interface. You will be on the interface. Click Wireless Android Auto Settings. Click Pairing. And you will see this name show up. Find it on your phone and connect to it. After a few seconds, it will automatically go to Maps. You can navigate using the knob. You can rotate it left or right. If you pull the joystick down, you will automatically be on the bottom bar. Clicking Enter on the circle in the bottom left will bring you to your apps. Click Enter to go to any of your apps. Please note, because your vehicle screen is all in one, the touchscreen controls never leaves inside of the radio. It is impossible to have touchscreen controls without taking apart the entire screen assembly and soldering inside of the screen. Selection controls such as rotary knobs are native controls for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Rotary knob controls are native for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, such as found in many European non-touchscreen vehicles that come equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You may have seen other products for this vehicle that allow touchscreen controls. Keep in mind all these products require extensive disassembly of the factory screen and soldering inside of the screen. These products that you may come across are not plug and play and are very dangerous because they require you to take apart the screen assembly and you can easily damage an expensive screen. NavTool has created an ultimate 100% plug and play solution for this vehicle that does not require any disassembly of the factory screen. This is a safe installation that will not damage your screen as you are not taking apart your vehicle's screen and not adding parts inside of your screen that were never supposed to be there. HDMI Feature Demonstration Make sure your radio sound is set to aux. Then you can press and hold the back button to enter nav tool interface. You will be on the interface. Next is HDMI. Your device's HDMI screen will show if you connected it to the interface. These HDMI devices are compatible with the interface. iPhone, Android, Apple TV, Google Chromecast, Google Chromecast Ultra, Amazon Fire Stick, Xbox, PlayStation, Roku Premiere, Roku Streaming Stick, Roku Streaming Stick Plus, Roku Express, Screen Beam Mini 2, USB Type-C to HDMI, and Apple HDMI. Camera Features Demonstration If you are not adding additional cameras, this does not apply. Press and hold the back button to enter Nav Tool Interface. You will be on the interface. Next is your cameras. If you have installed aftermarket cameras, it will show. This car has a factory reverse camera, so it doesn't show. Front Camera Click Enter. You'll be on your front camera. Click Menu to go back. Left Camera Click Enter. You'll be on your left camera. Click Back. And Right Camera Click Enter. You'll be on your right camera. If you turn your left turn signal on, your left camera will show. If you turn your right turn signal on, your right camera will show. If you set your car to reverse, your reverse camera will show. If you set your car to drive, your front camera will show. Vehicle Disassembly Instructions Vehicle specific instructions are available in the Nav Tool Installation Manual section by visiting navtool.com. What's in the box? Inside, you have a nav tool interface, nav tool joystick, joystick receiver, joystick receiver cable, nav tool interface harness, vehicle specific plug and play harness, USB configuration cable and batteries. Interface installation procedure. First, take a rag and cover the shifter to make sure it won't get scratched or damaged. Next, use a panel popper tool to take off the trim. Start on the bottom and work your way around. Once it's off, Unplug all the plugs on the back of the radio trim. Press down on the clip and pull to take the plugs out.
Once all of the plugs are removed, put the trim to the side where it won't get scratched or damaged. Next, you need to remove four 7mm bolts. Remove the bottom two bolts first in order to remove the hazard light switch. Unplug the clip and put the trim to the side where it won't get scratched or damaged. Continue removing the top two screws. Put your screws in the cup holder so you won't lose them. Once all four are out, you can take out the radio. Unplug everything from the back of the radio. Put your radio to the side where it won't get scratched or damaged. Next, install the supplied harness. Connect the brown plugs together. Next, connect the black plugs together. The plugs only fit each other, so you won't mix them up. It will only fit in the right plug. Now you can connect everything back into the radio. After it's connected, lay your radio down on a rag so nothing gets damaged. Connect the green 4-pin wire to the supplied wire. Make sure both the clip and pin are facing up. Next, connect your red and white auxiliary jacks. Take them if possible, so they won't come off. Now you can connect the green harness to the interface. Plug the supplied box to the opposite end of the supplied wire. With the supplied remote, twist open the top. Add the batteries to the inside cover. Once they're added, the remote will light up blue. Screw the top back on. You can put it in your cup holder. Test and make sure everything is working before putting everything back together. Once everything is tested and working, you can put your radio back together. Tuck your wires in the back. Screw on one bolt to hold your radio in. Then you can plug in your hazard light switch. Place it back on the bottom. Screw the rest of the radio back in. Plug your auxiliary wire in and tuck the rest of the wire behind the radio. Next, you can plug in your radio trim. There are labels on the back to know which color plug goes where. Once it's plugged in, you can put the trim back on. Testing vehicle after reassembly. Before starting the interface, adjust the radio settings. Click Next. Click Next. Click Settings. Click Display. Click Rear Camera and uncheck both boxes. Screen menus and settings may look different depending on vehicle. Make sure your radio sound is set to AUX. Then you can press and hold the back button to enter Nav Tool Interface. You will be on the interface. You can click Enter to go to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Click Menu to go back. Next is HDMI. Your device's HDMI screen will show if you connected it to the interface. Click Menu to go back. Front Camera. Click Enter. You'll be on your front camera. Click Menu to go back. Left Camera. Click Enter. You'll be on your left camera. Click back. And right camera. Click enter. You'll be on your right camera. Next is settings. You can change the brightness. Click enter multiple times to increase or decrease the brightness. Next is contrast. You can change the contrast by clicking enter multiple times to increase or decrease the contrast. Next is camera settings. You can adjust these settings to what you have installed in your car. Next is parking line settings. You can adjust your parking lines to how you want them to be. Last is interface settings. You can turn on or off Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Auto on Mode, the interface chirp sound, and the manual activation wire. Now, thank you for watching. Click the link on the left to subscribe to our channel. Click the link on the right to watch another video or click the link in the middle to visit our website.